Crack, crack, crack. Look, okay, I know I just left after we played Gwen. Wanted to talk. But there's some serious business we gotta do. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is. But I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Uh, we can only fight them at Care Morin. Wait, what about Nilfgaard? What's this about the Nilfgaardians? Of late. Look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. But fear not, we'll banish the Black Ones and the Wild Hunt. Two birds with one skeleton axe. <laughs> um, okay, so about that. Safe in Can't risk your men's lives. Care more him. We fight them there, nowhere else. Kermorhan is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait. Aww. Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Please don't give me a sword. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erlen Duncrate did. Erlen Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam. Tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Uncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. I can't accept this. Fuck you, if you can't help me with the army, I'm accepting it! Thank you. This can't be easy for you. I appreciate it all the more. I promise not to sell it by accident. But accidents happen, so actually maybe I shouldn't guarantee that. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. So, this isn't a sword that's gonna, like, deal ice damage, right? Because I feel like that's redundant against them. It is a sword that does ice damage. Hmm. On one hand, I like the idea of it. Because I could totally increase the chance to freeze by another 15%. But on the other hand, I have a sword that already does more damage than it, and that's how come I'm so tired of getting swords and shit. They give me these big rewards, or they give it to me as if they're like big rewards, and then they aren't really, and that's frustrating. I really wish that something would happen where they go, Oh, um, hold up, we'll buff that sword. Or you could go and like temper it even more at like a master armor, or not armor, blacksmith or something. That'd be nice. I feel like that'd be a good trade-off. You can still give swords that are a certain level or something. But if it's not up to snuff, let me recraft it or something. I guess to be fair, I could also learn modding and just adjust the stats there, but then I'd probably raise it too much or something. <sighs> it's a rough life. Also, I'm trying to find Ceres. It says she's upstairs. There we go, but the dots are leading me all the way downstairs. Your royal majesty. Would you spare a moment? Come home, Geralt. I'm the same lass I was, save for the title. A lot of things changed. How's it feel to rule? Jarl's giving you any trouble? They're all very understanding. They seem to believe in me. Besides Lugos, of course. Tried talking to him? Could still win him over. I don't know about that. He's more mule-headed than my father, but I'll try, of course. Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the Isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, 
claiming there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Hmm. Well, as long as you don't become a queen like that, that... Hey, I support you. Also, by the way, gonna need your help. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Other need than death. Help. What is it? Crox mentioned Ciri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us, quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin, battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna go talk to Yalmar. I was wondering if we were gonna be able to talk to him. Once there are no bazaars, or giants around. I figured he was just gonna be mad at us and never talk to us again after what happened. Hey! Ah, Geralt! How are things? The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Reed's at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood in battle such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. Yes! Okay, we got a little bit of help from him. <laughs> now it's time to head back to Novograd. Anywhere else? I guess we're supposed to talk to Amir. At least he'll be happy. Yeah, we'll talk to him first. So I can kind of begrudgingly be like, Hey, Emperor. We know where your daughter is. Bleh. Oh, hi, Morha, Morvan. Morfan. What? <laughs> Do you find Durgoff? Oh, yes. He was talking to some friends of my father. Poor chaps can't get their minds off politics, not for an instant. I truly hope they'll allow themselves some respite after the coronation. Oh, and that's it? Okay. Farewell. I was hoping to talk to him some more. He seems like such an interesting character for someone we've never really dealt with that much. He's popped up a couple of times in the story, but that's really it. He seemed like he was gonna be like this really intimidating, sometimes antagonist, sometimes just a normal Joe. You know, we'd butt heads with him a couple of times for some missions and nope, nope, none of that. He just chills out some places. That's why I think you're... <laughs> that was an accident. Here, have your lighting back. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. Don't doubt it. Rather see to it myself. Yeah, I'll do this. I don't doubt it. Against conventional foes, the Wild Hunt's different. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Okay. Can't agree to that. What? Really? And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. Really? Bring me Ciri. I will. If that's what she wants. What? That was a really weird exchange. I need your help. So that way we can save Siri. Hmm, yeah, okay, bring her here. No, we have to do it at Kaer Morin. Hmm, okay. But one of my generals is gonna lead the army. Nope, can't do it. Okay, then I guess the fuck off. Okay, I'm fucking off. Sorry, Vorez. I don't have much against you, but apparently Geralt does. 
I have to fucking be the whole leader. Bro, 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 bro. It's really weird. <laughs> uh, have we even looked around this place that much? Does this just lead out? Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's fast travel back out. Zoltan! Hey, buddy! Hello, Owl. Darn. I wanted to throw some art at it. Zoltan. Get up. Siri is. Let's go get the lassie. I'll do that, but I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Siri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. Could use you at our side. You'll have me and my axe. Thanks. See you at Kaer Morhen. Vesemir, Eskel, and Lambert are already there. So nice. I love dealing with friends. They're just like, okay, I'll help you. <laughs> Everybody else is just like, mm, no, maybe uh, I'd love to, but uh. I'm actually pondering to see what Dijkstra is going to say. I've been expecting everyone to kind of go, uh, I'll help you, but you have to do me a slide mission favor first. But so far, it's either been yes or no, and no real other thing. I mean, I guess technically series was an in-between thing. She gave me Hjalmar. But I just figured that was gonna be like an expected thing anyways, right? We- <laughs> It's like, talk to the brother! He's not doing anything! He's like, ruling a kingdom. Oh, I wonder. So that- does that mean if we had supported Hjalmar, would Ceres come to try and help us fight? Ah. Interesting. I mean, again, it's not like they would've had anything else to do. Alright. Up, don't mind me. Extra, I need to uh, need your help. No war plots or anything like that. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? I thought I wouldn't mind killing Randevin eventually. Hey, what about this? Surprised to see you still dabbling in politics. It's quite simple, Geralt. I cannot be indifferent to Redania's fate. Call it patriotic concern. <laughs> so it's concern that compels you to bump off Radovid. I think often of the country and its future. And the more I think, the clearer it becomes that as long as Radovid sits on the throne, Redania has no future. Well, at least you acknowledge that, well, everything that everybody else thinks, Radovid's a shitty king! Eh, I guess. Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morhen soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Hardly nonsense. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I've my own pile of problems just now. I've not recovered my lost property. Your help, you might remember, left much to be desired. Whoops. So I don't owe you shit. Look, man, it's not my fault that you couldn't figure out that a key, okay, a fucking key would lead to a vault and therefore it would be in one of the well-held places, right? No, no, actually that's a lie. That is kind of my fault. Ugh, whatever. I did the choice that I felt was needed, and then I didn't feel like going back another bunch of saves just to redo it all. Consequences to our inactions, I suppose. Let's be wary of the other side of the river. One four. Uh, I'm not a Temerian, so I'm not worried about getting fucked over by the Redanians. <laughs> Unless Radovid finds out that I want him to die. Buddy, are you sure you want to stand on that? Let me just, um, okay, all right, he's, he's just sitting there, nice and cozy. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Could use your help at Kaer Morhen, aim to take Ciri there. Wild Hunt's bound to appear soon after. You didn't turn your back on me when I was in need. It's only fair I do the same. Thanks. Venture to say your skills might prove invaluable. I'll consider whether to bring Vess. Either way, I'll see you at Kaer Morhen. Thank you! So nice to get help so easily. Alright. 
So with that out of the way, I guess that's every single person that we know of that can help us. I'm sure there are tons of other people that we could try talking to in the world of The Witcher. Like Yorvith, or people that maybe Geralt would have met in The Witcher 1, stuff like that. But we're not worried about them. The only ones we remember in this game. Alright, so where the hell am I supposed to be going anyways? Uh... It's not on the main islands. What? This is weird. Okay. Alright, I'm supposed to get on a boat. And it points to this location. Um... Hmm... Am I supposed to get my own boat, or is there supposed to be someone here? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it does show three locations that I can go to. Right? Yeah, there's one all the way over here. And one all the way over here at the Care Trolled Harbor. Well, I might as well grab that one. That was really weird. <laughs> so we're not even getting, like, a big ship or anything. Nope, we're just getting one of the tiny boats and sailing all the way out to the Isle of Mist. Maybe it'll be automatic, right? Because I don't know where the Isle of Mist is. Is it somewhere just legitimately near Skellige? That makes sense, I guess, actually. Yeah, after all the things that have happened. Shout out to the Isle of Mist. And it is 2,000 away? Oh gosh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna fast travel to here first. <laughs> so I have to go 2,000 meters or feet across the entire ocean. Ooh, ooh no. But yeah, it makes sense. You know? The elf dude in Siri went out on a boat. And then a day later, it flew and went back. Oh, wait, we're back on Unvik? I thought I checked out some of these places. Ah. Ah, okay. So we're doing what I thought was going to happen. That big-ass tower is important for something. <laughs> I figured it was. I checked it out off-screen, and the door was locked, and I was like, oh. Okay. I guess we'll come around here later, because why else would you have, like, a big-ass really noticeable and intimidating looking tower and then nothing happens on it, right? Okay, you know what? There's actually a better way for me to get there. Um... Shoot. But first I have to get off my boat. Because <laughs> I can't fast travel from that location. Actually, I think I can just stand, get off and stand inside of it. Hold up! Get out of the boat, Geralt! Get out of the boat, Geralt! Thank you. I was holding B and it wouldn't do it. <laughs> Okie dokes. Now I can just ride my horse, not to worry about some crazy shit happening. Get on a boat! No! It's right over here! Do I have to be on a boat? Cause that sounds ridiculous. Ugh. I guess we're fast traveling. You know? I have a really bad feeling about this. The water is really really calm for us approaching this area. I mean, maybe it's just because we've done so many random missions in The Witcher dealing with magical disturbances and stuff that I kind of expect, like, there'd just be, like, lightning and shit smacking into the ocean and waves going everywhere because there's some kind of super barrier protecting this island. But actually, no. I suppose it makes sense. Maybe there's just a small barrier rather than, like, a big one. So that way the wild hunt can't detect her. Oh gosh, I hope I'm going to the right area. When I got out of the boat, the game was like, Get back in a boat! But look at this place. There's like no convenient way back up. Warning, save your game now. You are nearing a critical point in the game's story. It is recommended you save your game in a manual save slot now. Okay. After traveling to the Isle of Mist, some side quests will no longer be available. Recommended character level, 22 or higher. Well, I'm level 26, so... I'm good to go. Holy shit. That was terrifying. Alright, we don't care about Rodinia's Most Wanted because we didn't want to talk to Radovid or anyways, you know?
The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Okay, follow the firefly. So is she gonna be locked up in a barrier or is she just gonna be chilling out on the island going, Oh, Garrot! I've been waiting here for a while. I can't even see the firefly because it's in front of the boat, kind of. Oh, wait, nope, there we go. It's just really tiny. Holy crap. It used to be like a really big ball of light. Now it's just kind of a very tiny firefly. You know, before we do anything else, I have six points sitting here waiting for me to use it on something. And now that we actually have another slot available, I can go ahead and invest them. So, what do I want to do? Deal additional damage in proportion to the stamina consumed. Or I could go for something like defense. After successful counterattack, the next attack deals 30% uh, damage per skill level. This is a hard one. Instantly gain one adrenaline point when entering combat. Ooh. That sounds awesome. I'm taking that. Because <laughs> this is more like a maybe thing. I don't really parry too often. And maybe this will level up eventually to getting me two adrenaline points. Ah? Nope. That actually makes me sad. All right. Just one. Wherever. Uh oh. Are there really monsters out here? Oh, Jesus! That was actually scary. I was not anticipating that. I'm all focusing on the firefly and leveling up and. I don't like this place. It's really spooky. Bunch of wrecked ships and monsters. Well, as long as the sirens don't really notice me. Although with that said, if all they do is get onto the side of my boat and allow me to one-shot them, that's fine. Hi. Boop. Load up. Stop in reverse. Boop. <laughs> this isn't that bad. Okay, I should probably hop off here, huh? I don't know if it's gonna make me do it automatically. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting a cutscene. Yeah, don't like this place. Is that a lighthouse? I wonder if the firefly is gonna lead me over there. I wanna save. So, does this indicate where I am? Nope. Just its own little area. The Isle of Mists. Gotcha. Oh, shit. I should have been anticipating getting attacked. I was even thinking about it. I was like, I wonder if there's going to be any monsters since we're on land now. And of course there are. Uh... I have so many questions. Like, what the hell is the Isle of Mists in the first place? Do people live here? Or is it just like a monster-laden land where they just- I stopped at the hut. I don't look inside. Throw whatever they can away. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cupboard. 
<laughs> I'm looking for a young woman with ashen hair. Who are you? They call me Geralt. Who are you? Is that what you? I heard the ballad about this and that sorcery. What's the name? Shepard. Sorceress's name is Yennefer. Yennefer. Sorceress's name is Yennefer of Vengerberg. Hi, that's it. Her eyes flashing lightning. Her heart an icy bed. Um, how did it go? Name a man's beard. Get yourselves together, lads. Be there, outside the door. Geralt, that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt, let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. Okay, well, you know, yeah, I can see that. Either you think I'm a monster trying to fake you, or you just don't trust me because I'm a random dude on a spooky fucking island. I wouldn't trust Geralt either on this fucking place. No way you can get to this isle conventionally. Crikey, you call a shipwreck conventional? Leave it be, mate. You know what he means. <laughs> Let me explain. A short while past, we were on route from Skellige to Novigrad. And Ferenc got talking with the captain, who sold him a magic firefly purported to know the way to a hidden treasure. Huh. Okay, so are the fireflies just a normal part of life, or did it just somehow ended up in their hands? This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. If that's a demon, it will try to dupe us now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? I'll look for your lost mates. Open up before I get angry. Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll be helpful. Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Three. Ivo, Gaspar, and Ferenc. Oh gosh, I, have to, I really have to split up in three different directions? This Ivo, where do I look? Edgett insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head, literally. Bugger wouldn't budge. Gaspard, where'll I find him? He said it was defeatist to sit and wait to be rescued. We had to take action, or at least he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. You can see one bit. Okay, I'll go find them then. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. So... <laughs> I imagine that when they say lamp, they mean the lighthouse way over where we just were. Oh, gosh. Come on, Harpies! I'll deal damage to you all! <laughs> I'm prepared to battle everyone. Thankfully, these things aren't too high level, so they're not really damaging my Quen much. <laughs> Holy shit, it was so much further away than I thought it was gonna be. Death perception, man. Sometimes I just don't have it. Okay. Where is the closest one to me? Ivo in the cave. Is it down there? Oh gosh. That's a pretty far drop. Maybe I'll just go to the lighthouse. <laughs> you cannot do that here. Oh, fine. I mean, fine. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Hi. Jeez, Bill, Bill Tags annoy me. Uh, 
A man! Am I ever pleased to see you? I talked to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that... Oh, ah, ah! God damn it. Dead. Damn. <laughs> I've one regret. Whack. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Your one regret is that you made a terrible mistake there. Uh, hold up, I gotta loot those bill tags. I still- I'm trying to figure out why I sometimes get Gwen on me. Right? <laughs> I didn't activate it, I just got hit and boop! I had a shield! And that keeps happening, yet I don't have anything that could activate it. <gasps> right? Yeah, I don't have the trophy equipped that might be able to do it. Eh, whatever. <laughs> you take what you can get. Anyways, still sad that I can't summon Roach here. Not even like a Ghost Roach. Although a Ghost Roach would imply that it's dead. Mm, that'd make me sad. But Garrett has plenty has had plenty of Roaches in the past before. He's admitted himself. 